You should have all of your numbers colored. I'm going to give you a minute to look at your paper and look at the one that I've completed and see if you colored in the same numbers that I did. Let's go through it together. We color the number 4, number 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56, 60. All right, and again, 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20, and you can keep on going all the way through. When you add up the next 4, add 4 more onto each number, it's going to be the next one, um, the next number when you're skip counting by 4s as well. Um, all right, over here on the left side, you will see some multiplication problems. This says 1 times 4 equals, and it has nothing on the other side of the equal sign. That's for us to fill in. This is saying one group of 4 equals how much? How much does 1 4 equal? The first 4 on here, or one group of 4? The first 4 on here is one group of 4. And if you were to say, I have one group of four pieces of candy. I have one group of four Legos. You would say, how many Legos do I have? Four, right? So one times four equals four. One times any number will always equal that other number. One group of anything is going to be, the total number will be however many is in that group. If I have one group of zero, I'm going to have zero. If I have one group of 75, I've got 75 in that one group, so it'll be 75. All right, so one times four equals four. Now, two groups of four. If we look at our sheet right here, all we have to do to find out how many are in two groups of four is to look at the second number that we colored in, which is eight. We can also think of it as like this, two groups of four if you have four cards that you gave to your brother and four cards that you gave to yourself, the total number of cards that you gave out are eight cards. That's the second number on here. Two groups of four equals eight. We can go on and we can do the third group of four. What is the next number we, we colored in? That is 12. And you don't have to memorize all of your multiplication tables yet, but I want you to understand that as you count by fours, really what you're doing is multiplying. You're thinking, well, one group of four, if you hold up one finger right now, and you thought, imagine that, that you had one group, and there was maybe you had four rings on that first finger, you'd have four rings total. If you had four rings on two fingers, then you would have eight um, rings total. And so if you were to count with your fingers, each finger could be a group and you could imagine rings being all over the place and then you could count up those rings by skip counting by fours. So the third group of four was 12. The fourth group of four is 16. Now I'm gonna go kinda, I'm gonna let you uh, keep on filling this out. The fifth group of four, we'll just do it together. The fifth group of four is 20. And you might be a little bit slower at writing these numbers than it is for me to come over here and type them. Um, but take your time. Um, you can pause the video if I'm moving too fast, or you can speed up the video if I'm going too slow. But the sixth group of 24, I mean, the sixth group of four is 24. Seven groups, that's the next one. Seven groups of four would be 28. Eight groups of four would be the next one right here. We had colored in 28. The next one we colored in was 32. That's eight groups of four. If so, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. You can see that when I counted up eight fours, right? Eight of my fours that I counted, I got to 32. Then nine groups of four is 36. Now I want to go to 10 groups of four. It's the number 40. 10 groups of any number will be that number with a zero at the end of it. So we are counting by fours right now and you can see that there's a four in the tens place and then you put a zero in the ones place to keep to hold to show that the four is in the tens place. All right, 11 groups of four. And with all your single digits and you, you when you multiply by 11, it'll just be that number doubled up, four in the tens and four in the ones place, 44. All right. 12 groups of 4 is the next one we colored in. That's 48. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write 48. And you might have to write smaller than you usually write to fit it in there. But it's kind of a challenge for you. It's kind of fun to try and see if you can write small. Um, and you can make these sheets over and over again um, as you get older. All right. Oh, I just filled out 13. 13 groups of 4 is the next one. That's 52. Now we're going to 14 groups of 4, 14 times 4. That's the next one we colored in. That would be 56. And finally, 15 groups of 4 is 60. So we write the number 60. That's a 6 in the tens place and a 0 in the ones place. We write the 6 down first and we put the 0 after it. All right. Now, if you take a look at this, you have all of your multiplication facts from one group of four all the way to 15 groups of four. We have colored in 15 numbers over here. Let's, let's count them together just, just to prove that that's true. The, here's the first one that we colored in. One, two that are colored in. Three, four, five, six, seven. This is the next one. It's kind of, it might be hard for your eyes to follow down, but the next one after 28 is 32. This is eight. 9, 10, then drop down to the next row, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We could count these up a different way too, couldn't we? We could count by, in, right there we colored it, we counted them in the order that we colored them. But we could even count them by rows. Over here in the row with all of the twos in the ones place, you can see that at the top of this chart, you've got a two. And then if you keep on looking all the way down, there's a two in the ones place all the way down to the very bottom because each row has 10 numbers in it. All right. But let's count the ones we colored in starting over here and moving down in this row. So this is one, two, three. Now let's skip over here. Four, five, six, let's go over here. Seven, eight, nine. Let's skip over here. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now you might notice some patterns in this as well. I used yellow blue, yellow blue as my pattern. Well, it worked out so that even though I was going yellow and then blue and then yellow and then blue right here. It also turned out so that it's yellow, blue, yellow in this row going down. And it's yellow, blue, yellow, and blue, yellow, blue, blue, yellow, blue, and yellow, blue, yellow. I bet the next one, if we were to um, carry a pattern out like this, that if we had another column over to the right side, you know, two more columns, that we would see another yellow, blue, yellow, just like we have yellow, blue, yellow, yellow, blue, yellow. And then blue, yellow, blue, blue, yellow, blue. That's a pattern in of itself. Um, let's see. The other pattern that we notice is that everything that ends with a one and everything that ends with a three is not one of the fours. Nothing that ends with a one or a three, oh look, or a five, or a seven, or a nine. None of those are multiples of four. None of those are numbers that we count when we skip count by fours. We can see that now. So if we're wondering if 30, 47 is one of the fours, we know that it's not because 47 has a seven in the ones place and nothing that ends with an odd number, that's what we call numbers that end with a one, a three, a five, a seven, or a nine. None of the odd numbers are multiples of four. We don't say any of them. Now. 
we can tell, that means that we do say even numbers with fours, but not all of the even numbers, right? Because two is an even number. And we didn't color it in. We didn't say it when we said, the num we didn't say it aloud when we skip counted by four. So two is not a multiple of four, but it isn't, at least it's an even number. We, we do know that some of the even numbers are what we say when we skip count by fours, but not all of them. So just because it's even doesn't mean it's multiple of four. Um, we need to memorize them. Now, up here it says, hint, this old man. That means that we can actually begin, once we've, now that we see right here um, what our fours look like, we can begin to memorize them. And um, we have a song, there's a song that called This Old Man. It goes, this old man, he played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack paddy-whack. Give a dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. That's how that song goes, but we're going to sing our fours to that same tune. All right, so let's look over here. It might be easier for you than to kind of go from here to here to here, 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 and following it on that chart. It might be easier now if you look at your answers to your multiplication problems. We're going to start with four, and we're going to say the answer to each of these multiplication problems because those are our fours in order. So. We're going to sing the song. I'm going to sing it um, three times with you. And we'll start out slowly and we'll get a little bit faster as we go on. Okay? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56, 60. All right, again, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56, 60. And one last time, a little bit faster, but not much. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56, 60. All right. Now, if you practice that um, each day, you will begin to memorize them by heart. And I'm going to make another video where once you don't feel like you need to look at the fours anymore to sing along with that. I'll make one more video where we just sing the fours um, so that you don't have to re-watch um, in order to sing along with me. Um, I'll make another video where we just sing the fours using this chart and then I'm going to make another video that you can use when you no longer need to look at the numbers and um, it'll show the multiplication using our fingers. Alright, see you in the next video.